Uh, okay. Oh, this is. Okay. Is it working? Hmm. Anything? Is it working? Okay. We have one viewer and her. her. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's go ahead. Ah, um, wait, please. Um, hmm. I don't think that was a good Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Uh come on. Uh, come on. Uh, come on. What the heck? Photoshop, I know you can do this. What the heck? Don't don't do this to me. Getting somewhere. Okay, so basic head portion. Here we go. Okay, it all starts off. So basic. Control. So we have a circle. Um, so the thing is, I'll talk about is. Know the proportions of how the circular head shape would work. Um, let me just chat. Mm -hmm. Wait. Share is not quite good. Extremely slow. Um, let's 
sort of working. Mm. Uh, is it working? No, no. How about now? Come on. Come on. I'm going to have to do this. Hmm. Screen. Ignore this, please. Ig ignore this. You don't need that. No. Oh, ignore this. Ignore the internet screen. Yep, it's right here. So, yeah, there's a little problem. No. So here's the other circle. And how, to complete how a base proportion of a circular head would work. No, never mind. I can screw it up in my head. If you know. So, this is the proportions of a basic human head, or a male, male adult. And here we have a circular. As you can see, the male head, or any head actually, in real life, is not a circle. And, and because it's not a circle, you're gonna, the proportions might be quite different. Found out a way. So if you have a circle, and you would have like a half line, that sort of like that. Then you get where the eye is, the eye line. And if you have that, that's where the nose will line up with the eyes. Okay. Yeah, that's right. So basically, what I want to say is, is that if you, look, this would work in pretty much anything with a, a circular head. If you divide the head into three sections like this. Like that. That's the I'm pretty sure that's not correct. It looks right. Let's just say it's right. Ah, ah, yeah. Okay, that looks right. Mm. So you get this. Um, what you do is. Uh, like the the nose line match with the second half line, and if the eye line would be on the it's it's going to be on the middle line. However, it's going to be more to the top rather than the bottom. So let's say if you have an eye that will go like I'm just going to draw the eyeball itself instead of like the, the what, like the eyeballs you see in anywhere, so that's, that's where the eyeballs will go. And if you draw the cover, then you can it up. In real life, the eyeballs are much smaller, like on the figure over here, see? And the, the eyeball size can be practically anything, but let's just go with the general big eyeball size, because we have big eyes and eyes are round, like that. OK, so. If you have nose, okay, never mind. So if the nose would go somewhere on this line, that would be the end of the nose, and that would be the. You, you can actually put anywhere to start. Um, and the lip line would go half of here, here, so half of this, that, and you get lip. Or actually the chin. Let me just pull up my old studies that I, that I made before, which I forgot. Right. Uh, where's it? Oh, no, but, oh, there we go. Okay. 
So basically, this is what I stated. So you have the nose over here. Sugar. Okay, so you have the nose over here, and then you have the eyes. But when you actually see the nostrils, the, the, the end of the nostrils are actually end at the eye line. So let's say, let's say that you have a character with a muscle. Right? Before that, I'll teach you what a muscle is. The muscle is, like you can say, it's what dogs have. It's the thing that goes goes out and come out like that. That's that's what a muscle is. That's a It's hard because the joint sideways. It's not really I'm not on a table, I'm not a So it hurt quite a lot. I'll be fine. Okay, so basically that's a muzzle. So if let's if a character has a muzzle on their on their face. That's 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 what regular like characters that you see in you know, like good animations in back days or games have. Um, it's gonna match up like, exactly the same with the lip line, and we'll notice it's gonna end at the at where the eyes will actually start. Or you can do it the other way around. You can actually make it so that the you draw the nose first, and you can make where the eyes will go, or the other vice versa. Okay. So let's say you have a muscle like that, the nose actually. And you can actually draw the nostrils, it's over there. And then if you draw the mouth, right there, like that. Oh yeah, by the way, the mouth would always, like, if you have a flat face, like a poker face, and you're doing nothing with your mouth, then actually the end of the lip would line up exactly in the middle of the eyeballs over here. So you can actually, it goes, it goes anywhere, but it would, it would generally just end at the very, the very uh, uh, center of your eye, like that. And you get the nose, the muzzle, or whatever you call it, and then just like that. And then just put it up in the eyes, and just you know, make make it so that you know looks good or something. Fill the eyelashes or stuff like that. Then you actually get it correct. Um, it seems weird. It only works for my character. So let me just demonstrate with another 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 character. Let's raise this. Um, I hope you guys can hear it properly. Um, okay. So. Let's say we have um, a human face, a human face which is uh, three and a half uh, proportion uh, a regular circular face, so it is only like one, one like it's only divided three times. So here's a face and here is jaw. The eye line always goes in the middle of the center of the face. That, that works with anything. It goes into the middle of a circle or the middle of the entire face. It's not just a circle, but the entire face. If you do that, and you have the line that becomes close. It's going to be, the hatch is going to be on the top, and then the a third. There you go. And um, at the second, Third, uh, I, I mean, we can have this half. So one third, half, uh, two thirds, third, third, that's one half, one third, and a half. And that's one third. You know what that means? One third, and that's a two third line, and that's the three third line. Let's just say like that. Uh, the nose would always go as I said before on the two third line over here. But the nose will get no, that, no, that's where the nose will end. That's where the nose will end. And it would actually the nose will actually start crease of your eyes, if you're between your nose, like between your two eyes. So you have your eyes here, and then 
Oh yeah, by the way, most most of the time, if you're doing like a real life thing, the eyes are one eye separate. So, for example, it's it's just like you're drawing like an eye like this. You draw like an eye like this, and then an eye like that. It's regularly like this. It's gonna be one eye apart. So I think that you have three eyes, and they raise the eye in the middle. And then, and then you have like perfectly well um, proportionate eye thing, sort of thing. So you have that, and you can draw the muscles. Yeah, I think I make face too big. Ah, oh, or damn. Ah. Uh, right. Okay, so now my so yeah, that. Oh, damn. Okay, so how the nose would be? Nose would be like this. Nice and bad. And then generic nose. And we have the Is at the half line, and then you have the chin. Or actually, no. The, uh, the, the mouth is actually higher. The chin line goes at the half, and then the mouth goes at like one third on top. So you see that if we're going to divide this into three, it's going to go over here. That's, that's, that's where normally where the lip would go. And then we have the eye. It's going to flip, will end. At the center of the eye, put it down there, there. There you get the face. And then you can just put the brows. And then the brow. And then you have the hat face. And you have the skull. And you just put some hair. And then the ears. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. The ears will go. The ears is, is actually the same height as the nose. So you just need to think that the ears are exactly the same as the nose would be. That, 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 that. Sip. Sip. Nothing much. It's like it actually works for both men and women. So, the tutorial, no, the this thing actually shows it better with all the proportions correct. Mm. So I said before, it's a half line divided into three. By the way, it's not my I I, I did this by practice, but this is the thing this template is not mine. It's, you're gonna search for it, Cypress um, find him. Um, I, I might put the link below if you guys need him and stuff. Okay. So the half line. So you have the half line. The half line. That's the center line. And then you have the eyes which are at the top, and the eyes end exactly at where the nostrils end over here. So the nostrils. The nostril ends. No. Yeah, at the very start, no, at the two-third line, two-third, over here. And the nostrils, and you have the nose, and the ears, and the ears, see the same size. See in the side, you can actually see it better. But that, no, actually, it, it's really like the start of the brow, but you can, actually, you can just say that's the end of the, no, the start of the nose, because it's not that much but, but yeah, there's that little difference. And I said before, from the lowest tip to the bottom, you have it, you get the chin. And then one third of that is where the lips go. And at the half of the eyes, you have the lip ending over here. 
and then that's pretty much with all the proportions done, and that's what pretty much what we need. Uh, when I usually work, when I usually work with a, when I usually work with, let's say, any any sort of uh, thing, very uh, human or anything. I first start off with breaking down their uh, skeleton features. So let's say, let's say, for example, for an example, let's stop sharing the screen. I hope this is alright for now, because I think I'm doing a pretty bad job. Wait. Hmm. I might as well use site to might be better actually. Um where is it? Uh, where can I find an example? Excuse I can go for can't use sign. It's lazy. Um yeah. Uh, uh I'm gonna screen share in a moment. Okay. Let's do this. Screen. Okay. In the okay, so this is um, something I made before for somebody's birthday. Uh, I'll do this later. And then this is a picture of uh, what I made just a few days ago. Now, before you have all the special effects and pretty stuff, I always start off with the base. That's the base. That's the base I had before. And I made a uh, an anatomical an analysis for the base. So I'll tell you, I'll show you that this thing applies. Uh, so here's a shinx, and here's a shinx that's standing up. I'm pretty sure it doesn't make any sense because felines tend to have legs, like the front legs aren't, aren't what you really think it is. So it's more of a, of a it's like like this, and it goes backwards, and then it goes front, and get like that. Oh uh, wait, let's look at the back leg. How does this work? Um, yeah, wait. Oh, it is. Um, so like that, that, and that, and then you get, and then the back goes like that, like that, goes like that, 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 and that. So um, let me just change the thing so you guys can see. Um, uh, I hope my voice is loud enough, because if I don't, if it isn't, I should be talking louder. But there are people outside, so uh, should I? I should. I still have my family. I think it's really 
Never mind. Let's just, let's just stick with this horrible temperature. Okay, there we go. Okay. Basically, this is the feline thing. It's be hard to see. But, uh, you analyze this. So, you have the leg. You go down. The leg goes more like, yeah, it goes like this. It goes down, in front, and then front again. So, it's as if we have, wait, that's not for the dogs, that's for the feline. Which is, the cat, the cat part. So the bone structure would make it go. It's like one. I mean, there's like two bones that connects the front, and then there's like three in the back. Actually, there's they're actually all three together. Just one, two, three. One, two, three. The thing is that the feet are much bigger on the back. That's why it looks more special. The felines tend to have this thing where their feet would go. Okay, let me just change the switch screen again. Their screen, there, 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 there. Okay, so I have this thing for there. Okay. Say you have that V line leg over there. The V line leg would actually work some, somewhere, something like this. So. Let me just go back to the left. So it goes down like this. So we joint here, and joint here, and joint here. Just exaggerating this. Joint here, joint here. Long joint here. These guys are the same length. And put here. So basically, if you, if you have ever seen a cat actually move, it would go down like the front, fold back. And then the foot, the foot would go like that, like this. And then it would go back down, like to here. So this would, this this thing would go back, that would go back. You see? And then like that. You see this? That. I hope it's easy to see. I don't think it's that. Yeah. What the heck? Oh god. Right. Hey. Please, please, please. Oh my god. Let's make a leak. Yep. Okay. Welcome back. So that's how the feline's leg like, works, and that's why this freaking thing does not make any sense whatsoever. Because if you think about it seriously, a 
tell you people, po Pokemon has one of the worst. Hmm. Let's see. I'll tell you people in the fact that Pokemon has one of the worst um, anatomy things I've ever seen. It's it's not that they're it's not that they're bad or anything. It just doesn't work at all. Um, yeah, there we go. Yeah, like this. Does this make any sense to, to you people? This, this, this doesn't. This is nonsense. It's BS, people. This, is, this thing is BS. Okay. Yeah. It's it's a freaking shame that it's just like this. Okay, so you have this. So you have machines. So that's that's one of the official concept design tools. Increase the size so that you can see. And here's my anatomy. Uh, analysis of these things that's the fit with standing up. Okay, so it's simple. So you have that a head that goes round, eye line is at the center of the, the head over here. So you can see here, you can also see it here, something like that, that the nose. But so this is a different case where uh, because it's a Pokemon, it's sort of different with the anatomy. And if you've seen the anime in some places, you can actually see that Shinx's nose is like that. It's I, th I first thought it was like this, but it's not. It's like that. It's like that. So you can actually um, think that there will be something like this. Christmas. You just don't see it. But the thing is that it doesn't really apply to this guy because maybe the concept is pretty different or a different thing. But that's not really the case, even though that I, I did say that it would work in most cases or almost everything. But there are some exceptions like this. If you, want, if you want to go crazy with ideas, you can actually do it like this. And it doesn't really matter if it looks right because it does look right. Or, yeah. That the eyes and the nose, and even though they're not proportionate in the, in the right proportion of areas, still don't work. Um, the, oh yeah, yeah, the leg. Okay, so let's say, let's say you have the body, so you have the body, that's a good thing. Like that. Or, better, better view over here. The rib cage is like that. Goes down and up. So if I can be running like this, down and up. And the rib cage opening like that. And then you have the arms. Which are um, technically, they shouldn't. Actually, no. It's pretty great. Like the shoulders are here, and then the arms start there. So from here, it shouldn't go down. It could be like it shouldn't be like that because if you see this, it goes like this. Here, the shoulder, the arm is here, there, and that because that's separate over here. And from the from what we've seen earlier, this does not make any sense because because the line length should be done like this. I should go back and I should go front. But if you see here, it's the opposite. You can see the other way around. <clears throat> so technically, if you see a shin walking, it's going to look like a human coming around. But with four legs down, that looks creepy. Uh, which is not good. But just saying. It's, it's okay to follow the design, but. In here, it just, it's just not right. 
you can know that a shame is a lion because I feel like because it's in the lion um, race kind of thing, so it looks like a lion. Let's see the evolution tree. It really does. Okay, so I broke it down like this. So this, that, if it's, if it's standing up. And apparently, well, yeah, she just doesn't really have a neck, so the head and the body is just stuck like that. I tried to find something like a note like this one, but there's nothing. Even felines have necks, which is really small and can't can't really see it but like like that. But yeah. Um and that's pretty much for the head part. If you want to know more about so yeah, that, that's what you basically need to know. You can experiment, yes, that's 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 your freedom. Not my thing, it's your freedom to experiment, because anyone can experiment. So, that's good. the head, anatomy, so my face, circle, 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 you have the left, the half of lines, uh, divided into three, second line, this is the nose, that's where you have nostrils and go, or anything like this, and then you have the eye in the center line, that would It doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, if it looks, it looks okay, then it's fine. Then we have the lips, or the chin line, the lips, uh, I prefer the lips first, I think I had, and then we have the bump, because it's a muscle up here, then just the line together. If you know yes we then go and check her work because all of her works have proportions like this. They're almost all identical. Almost every single one of her drawings. And they're pretty amazing, so check her out. Check it out. Um anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Ah oh, yes, experimenting. You can experiment with any kind of face actually. It doesn't really matter if you do it right or wrong. Oh yeah, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Wait, let me maybe just get some permission to do stuff. Hmm. Wait. Mm -hmm. Turn on music if you know I want to, because uh, YouTube's gonna go it and um, yeah, they're gonna cut me out. And, yeah, okay. Good, good, good. Thank you. Thank you, Lou. Whatever it be. Okay. This, this. Okay. So, this is another example. So, is it? Uh, so this is the one I was working on this morning. Okay, so here's Blue's persona or character. And I tried to break it down to a skeletal uh, model this morning. That's what I did. With the, with the most part, I think we got it right. With the feline leg, that's how that, that's actually how the leg goes. Seeing the knees and stuff, yeah, got that one right. The arms were a bit off though, but I wouldn't really mind that much because you can actually really experiment with stuff. So. 
the head for arms it's just it's just like that and that these two lengths over here they're, are actually the same um, and then yeah like that, like that. yeah um, that's it uh, that's good that's, good cake, but, yeah, that's basically the arm so so for breaking your thing down, this is what I figured. Um, when I saw the the face face part, that's what I'm thinking most. Like just just by looking, it looks pretty right. There's really nothing that much to say about fixing stuff. But I do really concern about the face part. This this is what I read from. Uh, uh, the, uh, going from the right side of the brain, um, like people tend to use symbols when they use their left brain to draw. It just means they just draw, but you just draw it with your regular using brain, and not the drawing side of the brain. We, we tend to use symbols instead of actually seeing things when we draw, but sometimes we have a problem. Um, what I'm seeing here is that I think, I think that you use I noted like a symbol that would represent the, no the nose to be like sort of cut out, maybe. So you use like that. So what I'm thinking here is okay, so you have your face. So you have your, so you have your uh, head, you have your skull. It's going down there, up here, that's where the jaw is go. And the score is actually a bit long. Okay. A little bit long. Okay. That's, that's basically the human skull. See a little error. Can't, I'm not sure if it's an error or if it's going to be like that. Could be a preference. So please uh, correct me if I get it wrong. Um, so you have the skull, and what I see here is like cheeks out like that, and then you have nose over here. I'm, I think it's that generic thing when you see an anime face or any face, you have that, like this thing, that thing, like that. Or, or if you just put different things, you know, you have the eyebrows, the eyes, and the cheeks, and the mouth, and then you have the mouth, you have the other chin, and then you have the mouth, and then you have the nose. Look, from what I see here, a little bit off, or I might put the skull in the wrong position. That could be my fault. Um, really, really depends. Let's see it though. So we're looking here that way. So let's just go. I'm not that skilled, so don't take my word as the word. Of like the answer, but that's just my suggestion. So, because your sauna is not a human, but rather something else, uh, you really need to think anything differently because it can't be a human skull. Because human skulls are like that, but you know you would get the same shape as that. So you really need to dig deeper. Let's say a canine skull, or that's what I'm guessing. Canine. So. Yeah. 
so we have 18 uh, let's go the thing is that we have to the thing we have to remember is to try and fuse the two together so that we get a decent shape general thing is that both of them have like a similar feature the nose part is empty um, the eyes parts are also empty and there we go. So we have a canine skull. We don't have to do exact the things, but that's just a that's just a bigger version of the thing. So you don't need to mind that much. So we have a canine skull and a regular skull. Um, Let's bring up Let's go. Come on. Wait, why are you listening? Why are you listening to anything? Okay, so we have a Homo sapien skull, which is also the human skull. Always search for good reference. We're going to need it later and it's going to be useful. Trust me. It's going to be dead useful. So, if you look at the human skull and the canine skull, they have pretty similar features. Back part of the head, and the hmm. back part of the head. It's that probably it's not. It's not really a perfect circle, but it's rather an oval. And you get a straight line down here. It goes up the half line of the skull. The eyes and the half line of this. This straight line right in the. There you go. There's your skull. We you have that. The center part. And then that. But the thing is, is you have, you have to like put them together in order to make a simple skull. So what do you do? You get like the the features that you would want in your thing. So from what I'm seeing here, is that you want to have a muzzle or a nose. So you take a skull here, and you'd see that the nose would actually connect to the the face, unlike humans, where we have very small ones. For humans, we have very small nose bones. Go down to that, and that's it. That's it. But for 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 the canines, this part is this. It's pretty darn much. Why all, dogs, all dogs have long, long, long muscles. Nothing. That's the part of the muscle. It's really just this. So you have the circle, and then you have the part that goes out. Like that. That's the muscle. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to put these two together. So basically, you do this. So in the human skull, I do it sideways first because the side view is much easier. In the human skull, so we have the human skull it goes down, straight, oval shape. Add a feature, okay. So we add a longer, what do you call that? A longer jaw and nose. Like that. So you'd eventually get a face like this instead of like, instead of a regular face like that. 
then you get this part like that. Of the, the, the nose about going like that. And really, it depends on your character where your map would go. So let's say you have a small nose. Small nose character would not have this, but instead would have this rather something like this. Yeah. Now in Really your choice, and then you have the skull and the eyes, eye sockets, just like this. Depending on whether you have the eyes that are like dogs or humans, that's really your choice. If it's humans, it goes like that. It's like a dog, then the eye sockets go backwards like that. So yeah, so for this one, for, for yours, I think I can change it. So that it would fit like this um, skin different color. That is a terrible color. So yeah. So your nose is here, but in this three quarter view, it wouldn't quite work that well. Put the nose on that side, so that I might modify it a little bit. But I would look um, okay. I wouldn't say right because I, mean, I, yeah. I don't draw stuff like that. There's the eyes right here because that's the eyeballs. There's the eyeballs over here. That, and I'm pretty sure you have the eyeballs over there also. The ball, so in the 3D space, you look at that through and then you have the nose which is on the second third line so it's going to be somewhere over here the nose bone would come out like that it's going to have to be outside more outside I wouldn't really go for a a long uh, long long for that long face is is because it's really yeah, no, it doesn't really matter though if it's like your preference but for dogs or canines they have long jaws so they're gonna have flat uh, flat yeah flat jaws so it's gonna make their head smaller but for humans. That's not really a flight pretty long. But if it's your preference, then don't mind me. It's your choice. You can make it your own. It doesn't matter. Don't think about me. Nope. So you have that. You have that eye socket. And the cheekbone. Which would make up these cheeks. Like that. But in a slightly different way. Go like that. Never mind. And let's yeah, come out. And go in. Because your nose, well, nose is pretty small. It doesn't matter that much. But the thing is, if you're going. This. It's either you're gonna have to um, it's either you're gonna have to make a small smaller 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 face for the um what do you call that? Jaw would be up there, so I'd rather do it like this. Get that. Get that nose. Get that. Let's count up here. So, 
I will put the nose over here, but that's not a good thing. We could make it a little shorter. Like that. And because this is a three quarter view, view the nose wouldn't actually be right there, so it will actually be somewhere over here. And the nose is going to be somewhere over right here. Uh, so I'm just going to go more like this. And the mouth would most likely be somewhere over here. And now it looks, um, I don't know, it looks more like a dog game now instead of a humanoid. But if you want the humanoid thing, then that's your choice. Stuff like that. Yeah, the eye. Yeah. And put the eye cover to that. Yep, 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 yep. You get yeah, the skull like that. And I do it. Jaw bone you get here. There, and this whole top is going to be one single big bone. Okay. Yeah. Here you can see that it's sort of angled. Yeah. So it's going to more. It's more. It's going to look more like this instead of this. It really depends. So yeah. So uh, it doesn't really matter if you follow the format or not. Um, it's just a suggestion. So, I guess this would be the end of the small screen. Thank you.